Rangers! Serious news? Oh, uh, Power Rangers, go! Power Rangers, go! Mega Bloks has transformed into Mega Constructs. However, it's not necessarily true. Some of the stuff is Mega Bloks. Some of the stuff is Mega Constructs. The new Shimmer and Shine stuff, for example, is still Mega Bloks. I was thinking maybe they're keeping it for the younger brands are Mega Bloks, and then the older ones, the more smaller pieces, will be Mega Constructs to mix with their Constructs line. But I'm not sure because then they have some other younger toys that are also under the Constructs but maybe it's because of the subject matter of them. I don't know. It does look like they're keeping both names. But anyway, there's a new Power Rangers. This is Series 1. The numbers were so hard to find on these, but I did manage to. If you look right here, there is a black number. I think you can see. Oh, I think you can catch a little bit of it. Black on black really hard to read. I was struggling in the store. Luckily, a Toys R Us employee came over and he assisted me with reading. I had my glasses on, old man style. Trying desperately not to have to pay for hundreds and hundreds of them. I believe number five, don't quote me on that, was the hardest because there was only one out of the whole package of them. I believe I was the first one to get them. Anyway, I got the whole series. One of them, there was just one of. I believe it was number five. I went ahead and wrote the numbers at the top here so that I would be able to tell you when I open them what is in what package. This is what the package looks like. There is no tear tab. I have my scissors ready. Who wants to open these up? I got five Six, seven, eight, nine, and twelve are the numbers on them. Number five, Power Ranger. Meg Constructs, Saban. I don't know who Saban is, but they're his Power Rangers. Please forgive me, I'm much too old to know anything about Power Rangers. Should I take out the poster first? Yeah, let's do that. Here's the propaganda that comes with them. It's got a checklist. Nice, and showing you how to make a check mark in the ones you got. You can collect them all, and on the back it shows you how to construct them. From what I was feeling in the bag, basically the head is all you have to put on them. I was feeling at first before I could see the numbers. Number five, we've got Z. Oh, guys, it doesn't say their names. <laughs> I'm gonna look dumb. Actually, it's, I'm not gonna look that dumb because it's just White Ranger and Pink Ranger, right? I can do that. Lord Zed. I think that's his name. They're tiny. They're tiny little bodies. They're not like, uh, what do we have? We have Monster High that's big, and the Barbies. I guess maybe they only make the girl line ones big. These are a smaller body. Kind of like the older Power Rangers. And then you get this head. Oh, see, I would have called this the Burgundy Ranger. And it comes with a stand that looks like this. You know what, guys? I have some Mega Block Rangers. Let me go get those. So he stands on a stand like this, and he looks like he's got a cocktail stir stick. And it fits in his hand like that. They're cute. They're small. Yeah, let me get my old ones. Here we go. I have a green ranger. So they are about the same size. The old ones kind of don't stand very well on three, and the new ones don't stand very well on two. Yeah, they're actually the same size. The construction isn't that different. They're definitely compatible. Yeah, so what do you think of that? The feet work the same way. Anyway, that's five. It's five, but it's number six on your checklist. They are very similar. You can see the slight differences in the crotch. If I was to choose which one I like better, I would definitely say I like the new ones. I like the crotch piece and the leg. They definitely look cuter and sturdier and more human-y. When you stick their feet too close together, their feet turn in. They were designed to stand on a three-peg brick. So they've got a nice wide-legged stance. Number six.
checklist we've seen. Number six is the White Ranger. Here's the body and the stand, his head. Pops in really good. And his weapon is awesome. Look at that. He looks awesome. Tiny, but they're really cool. Number seven. Ah, I dropped it on the floor. Number seven is the Pink Ranger. There's the body. So it looks like these are the original ones, if I'm not mistaken, because of the pattern. Kind of like what Mattel is doing with their Imagine X line. So they're bringing back the classics. The bow and arrow is awesome and huge. Love that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you can't make out the numbers, the weapons make it pretty easy to feel. So feel your way to a full set. Pink Ranger, awesome. Okay, wow. Okay, number eight is the Silver Demon. I don't know what his name is. Let me know below what his name is. Here is his head. Oh, he's cute. He's mean and cute. Do I like these more than the Imaginext? I do have two packages of the Imaginext lines. I don't know where they are right now, but I should because they're in my must open pile somewhere. I will open them during Christmas, I hope. He's cute. He's cute and evil looking. I really like this one. He might be my favorite. Their wrists swivel, their arms are on ball joints, their heads turn, and their legs move independently on ball joints, and their feet have tilts on them. Kind of looks like a fish man, a silver fish. A silver fish. That was number eight. Number nine. Something got caught in the checklist. Oh, cool. Uh oh. Maybe there's variants. No. Does he look translucent to you on the package? Because translucent. Oh, I wonder if there's variants within the numbers. That means I'll have to get more. Sometimes they do that. The sword is translucent. Cool, so it's the Red Ranger in transparent. Look how awesome that is. Look at his cool sword. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He is number nine. Well, green doesn't look translucent. See how he shines more than the other two? I don't wanna think that I have an incomplete set. And then last but not least is number 12. They tend to like the skip numbers too in these things. It is the Green Ranger. That's his body. And that's his mask. Look at the detail on that. Is one of their names Jason? Which color is Jason? It's a real good name, Jason. And his weapon is this knife. There he is. What do you think of that? Think of that guy. Okay. So that's the Mega Constructs Saban's Power Rangers. New series. I hope you like them. Let me know if you want to see more Power Ranger reviews because I could get all of the Imagine X stuff. I am a huge Imagine X fan. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. These make great stocking stuffers. Power Rangers! Power Rangers!
Rangers. Hey, get your sword out of his face. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Yeah, that's enough. enough.